So what we're doing with, with Scepter is we're pioneering this brand new, really exciting technology called distributed electric propulsion, which has the opportunity to provide really lean green money-making machines in aviation. That is, they can be incredibly efficient. We're talking about a five-fold increase in the cruise efficiency at high speed for our flight demonstrator compared to a typical twin-engine aircraft that we're starting with and the ability to have much, much lower emissions. In fact, our aircraft is fully electric, so there's no in-flight carbon emissions of any kind. And in terms of a money-making machine, the really wonderful aspect of electric aircraft is that they have incredibly low operating cost. So if you look at these general aviation aircraft out here at AirVenture today, most of them, if you fly them around, about 50% of the cost will just be fuel cost very expensive because they use a lot of it and aviation gas tends to be quite expensive. When we can change that energy source to electricity, the energy cost decreases by tenfold. So even if you amortize in batteries, which are pretty expensive today, we're talking about the ability to dramatically decrease the amount of operating cost associated with energy cost from 50% down to about 20 or 15%. And so just a dramatic improvement in affordability for operations of these small aircraft. And so we've got propulsion systems moved out to the wingtip, which lets, uh, lets us take advantage of the vortex interaction between the propellers at the wingtip and the, the vortex that's generated normally as the source of drag for the airplane. And so with our electrical system out at the wingtip, it's a high risk configuration. And so by integrating safety features into the motor, such as dual winding designs, where we have multiple controllers driving each motor and multiple levels of redundancy throughout the aircraft, we get a highly reliable vehicle demonstrating this experimental technology on this, this new NASA aircraft. This is a ground test that we did called the Leap Tech, where we took an early version of our distributed electric propulsion concept and built a full-scale model and drove it around out at Edwards Air Force Base at the landing and takeoff conditions for this aircraft. And so we're taking what we've learned from the truck testing out on the desert as far as the data collected on the wing performance and the lessons learned for integration and applying it to the X-57 design. Electric propulsion is not just about general aviation. It's a perfect way for there to be an early adopter market for this technology to grab a footing and for us to work out the certification issues, make sure that this technology is ready and safe to go into commercial aircraft at larger sizes. So we see uh, over the next 10 years electric propulsion becoming uh, a, a very important uh, technology for general aviation, but after 10 years, this technology working up to commuter size aircraft, turboprop aircraft, and in about 20 years, all the way into commercial aircraft. So there's really this time scale of NASA trying to uh, develop this technology as quickly as possible and get it into the marketplace so then the marketplace can uh, run with it in all sorts of different products. Aero TV is brought to you by Trig Avionics. More pilots are realizing the benefits of Trig. We make innovative certified avionics that are easier to install and operate. Backed with the best support and warranty in the business. Contact your approved Trig dealer now. www.trig-avionics.com